Hey guys, Richard Constable from RichCityGuitar.com. Today we're going to be talking about the C major chord scale. So let's jump into it. So, just like the scale, we have seven notes in it. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then we start C again. So with the chord scale, it has a particular pattern. And you can use this template on any other scale. But it starts with the major, so we've got C major, then it goes to a minor, so in this case D minor, so C, D, then it has another minor, E minor this time, so C, D, E, then it has a major, F major, then it has another major, G major, and then A, A minor, and then we have a diminished chord off the, um, the pattern and then back to the C. So we've, we've still got the C, D, E, F, G, A, B and that's our C major uh, scale notes and then the pattern is major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. Okay so if you use that pattern on any other scale that's the way it will go. So let's talk about the notes that we have in there. And let's go through the scales. So C major, C, E, and G. So you can always start with that. The D minor is D, F, and A. Okay, so D, A, D, and then F again. Then an E minor is E, B and G. And the F major is F, A and C. F, F, and that's your C, and that's your A. And you've got another C, and another F there. And your G major is G, B and D. G, B and D. Either go D and G or B and G. So that's the two options there. And then A minor is A, C, and E. A, uh, E, A again, C, E again. And then diminished is B, F, and D. shape, just moved up a set of strings and then you add the bass note in. So you can do it in a slightly different way, so instead of C major, you can do C major 7, so you can add the B to the chord. So we've got C, E and G, and then you can add the B, which is the second string here, so it gives that feel. And D minor 7, we've got still got D. A and F, but we can add the C in here. Okay. So that's the seventh thing, D. So that's D minor seven. Then the E minor seven, we've we can play like this. So we can play a couple of ways. Play it like that. So E B and add the D in. Here as well, it's a D. You can add it that way, or just take off all your fingers like that, or like this. So there's a few different ways you can add it on. Then F major seven. So the simplest way is to do that. So this is this is a kind of a F cheat for some people, but this is F A C E, which spells bass. So F, A, C, and E, then the G dominant 7th, so that's adding the F in, and then the A minor 7, so we've got the G, the B, the D, and then as we said before you can either do the open B, the D, 
or the G again, but that's all G, B and D. But if you just change that note to an F, the first fret of the first string, it gives you that seventh feel. And then A minor seventh. So you can add in the G. So we've got A, E and C here. And then to add the G, you can either do the open string here, or you can add the first, the your little finger or your third finger to the first string on the third fret because your G is up here. So you could actually keep the A minor that you're used to playing and add the G up here, or you can add it in the middle here. It has slightly different sounds. That's a bit of a shine over the top. You can kind of toggle between. So that's your A minor 7. And then you can do a B minor 7 flat 5, which is your B. So before we were playing this D shape like this. You can actually play the D7 shape, but just one set of strings up. Like that, but just add the B in here. So you've got it a bit like this. Oops, wrong one. That's it. So, why am I telling you all of this? Basically, if you put a number against all seven of the chord scales, you would have one, C major, two, D minor, three, E minor, four, F major, five, G major, six, A minor, and then seven, your B would be diminished. So when you come to write songs or listen to songs, there's some common patterns that people use with the way they order these seven chords. So for example, if you wanted to play something jazzy, you would actually start with the second chord from the scale, then you would go to the fifth and then the first. That's quite a common uh, jazz combination for this number system. So let's take the seventh chords that we were doing a minute ago. So C major seven, D minor seven, and G seven, G dominant seven. So if we went to the second chord, that would be our D minor seventh, and that's this little chord here. So we're on the first frets of the first and second strings and the second fret of the third string, and we play that open D. That's our second chord, and then we go to the fifth, so that's our G7, and then finish with the first chord in the scale, which is the C major 7. So you get this really, really nice jazzy feel, and all you've done is worked out the scale, so we're doing the C, you've then taken the seventh chords of um, the second, the fifth, and the first of this C um, major chord scale, and then you just have to add a little bit of rhythm. So let's just add a basic jazz rhythm. And it might sound familiar. blues sounding songs and this uh, chord combination it actually spans across a lot of genres but it's very famous in blues and it's probably originated from there into the other genres. Uh, you start with your first chord which is your C major then you go to your fourth chord which is your F major and then use your fifth as well your G major. So let's just take the, the chords so C major so you, if you're playing a 12 bar blues, so you'd play the C four times, you'd play the F twice, you'd play the C again two more times, then you'd play the G 
twice and then finish on the C. That's just a simple version of it. There's lots of different ways you can do it. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's just a simple blues that you would have heard a thousand times. It's used in um, a lot of Elvis's songs, for example. Ain't nothing but a hell of a crying all the time. Ain't nothing but a hell of a dog crying all the time. Well, he ain't got a friend of mine, ain't no friend of mine. So, in that case, it's using the A, A major first. Fourth is the D major. Back to the A. And then to the fifth chord, which is an E in this case, back to the D, and then finish on the first. So that's just a little introduction to the C major chord scale. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.